Run! Who's your mommy? Who's your mommy? What are you talking about, Susie? You said, what am I talking about? Did I just say, who's your mama? Don't make me say it twice. Who's your mommy? Susie, why are you so high? Who's your mommy? Who's your mama? Come on. Give me your lunch money. <laughs> Get, get the lunch. I need the lunch, man. She's so rude. Yeah, and I'm gonna jack you out of the rest of your stuff. Jack, jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. No, forget Jack Daniels. This is called Jack J. The Moose. The uh, Moose. You can't talk to me like that. I'm the one with the big guns in here. Remember? Ooh. I'm the one with the big gun. Who's your mommy? What? I said, who's your mommy? Who's your mommy, Jay? What? Who's your mommy? Don't nobody care about nobody defending that. I just asked you a question. I said, who's your mommy? Fix your crime. No, fix your game. Tag. Don't nobody care about a check. Yeah, I, I even say it. Nobody cares about a check. My name is Susie Skywalker. Susie. Big Weak move. Weak move? The only thing weak in here is your game. Give me that. Oh, the only thing in here weak is your game. Shut it up, Jay. Give me your lunch money, JJ. When you get something, call the honey up. Call the honey up when you get something. Oh, oh. When you get something, call the honey up. And if you move anything, I'm gonna take all your stuff, little boy. 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 Wait, wait, what's going on? You moved the king. No, I didn't move my king. Dude, you did. I did, crackhead. Give me your lunch money. Give me your cookie. The hell? I don't know who the hell is. Yeah, touchy, Wait, touchy. Touchy, touchy, touchy my touchy, foot. My foot. <laughs> touchy, touchy hey, my hey, foot. Hey, 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 hey. Have some little respect here. Right. Now for nobody's game is light as yours. Oops, gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go, go. 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 Jane Crazy. Go. Give me some of that Nana, boy. Uh-uh, you don't have to worry. Little Girl Scouts can't get in there. What are you talking about, you zoo? You said, what am I talking about? Uzub. 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 Don't stand as nuts. My name is Skywalker, boy. Uzub. Give me that. Uzub. Get your panties out the street. Who panties? Your panties. The ones you got. I'm a sack on that. So is. I'm second. Second on you, Jay. Crazy. And guess what? You got the wrong color bishop, Girl Scout. The Girl Scout got the wrong color bishop. The Girl Scout got the wrong color bishop and can't do nothing. What are you talking I'm about? I'm right here, Girl Scout. I'm I'm talented. I'm though. right here. Nobody cares. You can't queen. And make me come out. Make me come out. What are you Girl talking Scout. about? I'm too That's a draw, Girl Scout. No, that is not a draw. It is. Girl oh, Scout. Fuck. Girl <laughs> Scout. What's the draw? Hey guys, Brian here, and let's go over the game and see what we can learn. Alright, so this was pretty much a take the one pawn advantage to end game and try to win type of game. So let's go to this position and see what we can learn. So in the game, Bishop g3 was played, and then white played b7, and then black played bishop b8. But if you want to go move back, pause the video, and um, find the best move for black here, because black can draw this game. Alright, so clearly the white king is trying to, um, to get here so that when white queens... Bishop will have no choice but the sack, and then white can take. But in order for white king to get here, it has to come here. And that's where the move comes in. King e7. King e7 blocks white from... blocks. These two squares are blocked from the bishop and the king. So now, if white wants to kind of do the same strategy, he has to spend a lot of time moving around here. So let's say he does that. Then the king comes in here, king goes down, and now what black wants to do is liquidate all the pawns here so that this is the only pawn left for white, which he will inevitably grab when he pushes. So takes, takes, and now bishop moves back to protect its last pawn, but it doesn't matter. 
liquidation is forced and now white will snatch up the last pawn and now you just got a series of bishop moves here for the draw and um, it doesn't matter if the king goes back here because then the black king will just come and chase that pawn so either way whatever happens it's going to be a draw here so bishop will lock it up and just get a bunch of bishop moves all right let's go to the last part of the game um, here and in the game king h8 was played and then white played king g6 but if you want to go move back pause the video and find the best move for white here you can do so now all right even though um if you're curious this is a win for white here he just has to be a little bit careful um the, the move is for white is a waiting move bishop b1 and notice that now the black king is in zugzwang black cannot move here here or here he's forced to move this pawn but when he does white will not recapture he will instead push and if um well black's only move is to push here push and a checkmate with a pawn so a nice um nice little uh tactic there for for white hard to see when you know that's the thing in endgame when it comes to blitz there's no time to think so you just kind of have to make fast moves and let's go to the last position here white played king h6 and it turned out to be a draw but if you want to go move back pause the video and find best move for white here you can do so now all right simply you want to um give the uh, black king a, squ a square to go to here and push g5 next king goes back and you have to be really careful here too because if you push here it's a draw so you gotta be precise here make a waiting move with the bishop king is forced to move up and then push the pawn check and you can afford to push the pawn here because what black has an escape square and here's the mate all right so what can we learn from this game um let's go back here uh, when you have kind of when you when your bishop is guarding the queen square and the king the enemy king is trying to um, exchange the queen for your bishop try to block it off with your king um, here kind of uh, make the king waste tempo trying to um, accomplish the objective and then on the other side just clean up here and if the king decides to come over here, then just move your king over here. So um, th those those king moves are key. They're kind of blocking the king moves here, blocking the um, plan of your opponent. So keep that in mind. And also, when it comes to like end games like this, where there are possibilities of stalemate, you just have to be really, really careful. And um, you know, have some waiting moves here. Force the uh, put the black put your opponent in Zugzwang and kind of make him do what he doesn't want to do and then kind of a nice checkmate here with the pawn and also here again be very very careful of of uh, Zugzwang mm, potentials and avoid them at all costs and again hard to do this in blitz because things are moving so fast and you have no time so um, you have to really think of when it comes to endgame square control and what happens if you push then this becomes controlled by the pawn by the king and by the bishop here and then then you kind of get that stalemate so you have to take your time and think in terms of square control too so hope you guys enjoyed the game hope you guys enjoyed the analysis please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and thanks i'll see you guys later